The following is videoed at Kangaroo Inn Historical Ruins. We thought we'd show you around this remarkable looking piece of history and maybe have a little play as well. Please note this is not a official investigation. This was just to throw your line out and see if you get a bite. So we've been looking for this place for the last hour. So if you ever come to have a look at the ruins for Kangaroo Inn, don't, don't follow Google Maps, all right? Google Maps had us going up a driveway to somebody's farm and we nearly got bogged. So, but this is the Kangaroo Inn historical ruins and it got our attention, didn't it, Kag? Last it time did. Here because we were looking up haunted places and this came up. Mm -hmm. Now, this inn, I believe, was built in around about 1816 and it wasn't licensed at first for the first part um, and it, it got licensed and it lost the license and then it, so it's had a quite long history. Apparently it's where the coach people used to come when they're coming through with the mail, so they would stop here. Uh, the bullockies that were coming through. The, the what, sorry? The bullockies. Oh, I thought you, I thought you, think, I thought you could say, you're saying bikies, but in the northern accent, bullockies. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> I had to ask, bullockies. 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 You know, the ones that did the bullocks. <laughs> sorry. I need another cameraman. You do, <laughs> sorry. Um, Alright, so the reason why we're here is because a navvy, as they were called back then, um, various stories. One was that he was English and he actually had quite a lot of money. Unfortunately, he showed that money that he had quite a lot of money to the people here and a fight broke out and he got his throat cut from ear to ear. And he was found dead, so he was murdered. So it's supposed to be a young man who was murdered here for his money. So various stories. One story it was a navvy who got into a fight and was murdered. Another was that it was a young man passing through who just had that money and unfortunately showed the people at the barn that he had a little bit too much money. So either way, I love ruins. I love old ruins and history and stuff like that. So we're going to go in. We're going to take a little bit of equipment in with us as well. <laughs> Just a little bit in the basket. We're pretending we're taking a picnic in. That's a little clark. What's it say? So this inn situated on the road by Mount Gambier it was licensed between 1861 and 1878. The land to which it stands, the homestead, by Neil MacDonald, Scottishman. Well, didn't it say it was uh, used in 1860? I suppose that's when it was licensed. Yes, so it would have been older than that. Yeah. Well, let's go in through the... Oh, there's loads of writing in there. Is there? Yeah, there's some information. Oh, okay. So what's what this think? one here? I'm just going in here first.
Because everybody's been in. are still here and you can see the rooms of the inn once through here. This is the hotel itself. Gosh, these are little rooms. Nineteen sixty. Even this actually would be fairly old. Kelly, nineteen ninety. Although it's modern day graffiti, I suppose in the scheme of things, nineteen seventy-seven. I guess it's actually getting quite old now for some. Some of you wouldn't have even been alive then. So let's go through to where Keg is. She's actually, it's all these tiny little rooms. They're not very big. Love heart, very old love heart. This is the old kitchen. So you've been reading what's on here, Keg? Yeah. Well, well it's that's got... just what it said on the, uh, on the internet. Is it? What I've just said. Look at the size of this fireplace, guys. Got the little wood oven here still. So, I don't know if you're gonna. Oh, you can see in there, guys. So that's inside the wood oven. In here. It's all pretty cool. And this massive fireplace. In fact, it's so big you can actually get into it. At the end of the day, it's so big the fireplace is. So, it's quite sizable in here. Saxon, 1948. Wow. This is some of the graffiti. It says 1861, but I'm not sure about that. Ah, contrary to popular belief, the Kangaroo Inn was not built until 1860. It does not feature on the 1859 survey. So there you go. So... This is the old well that's still here. I believe the local school actually restored it. Obviously it's all filled in now so nobody can really hurt themselves down there. No. It's just it's just great for history guys. What was that? I could put this on here, so I'm not putting anything on the ground. No. Oh, it's not that good, is it? No, it's not really. Oh. That's me. That's my yeah, that's setting. your bum setting the music box off, love. <laughs> In that case. Oh, it said, leave here. Oh, my goodness. It just said, leave here. Well, that's cool. First thing it says. Thank you, Amy. Nothing more. Did I just say stop?
was taken. Oh, that was pretty dirty deep. What was yeah. that? Okay, so is anybody here with us? It said yes. Again. It does say? No, it's a really deep voice. It's a deep but... voice, isn't it? <laughs> Is there anybody here with us to, at the moment? It's an under voice. Mm. We're not here to disrespect you, we just want to try and talk to you if we can. I thought that said okay. Are you okay with this being here? We heard there was somebody murdered here, so we're just wondering if that's true or not. That just said Anne, by the way. And goes to you. Oh, yes. Hello. Said yes. So, my name is Cag, and it's a very strange name, and that's Alison. Can you tell me what your name is, please? Just find, try and find out if it's true that somebody was murdered here. Me? Me? Who's me? It's a very deep voice, isn't it? It is. Who's me? What's that? Be quiet. Bully. Bully. Be quiet. Very really sorry about that. Don't, we don't mean to disturb you, honestly. If you want us to go, you just have to say leave or get out. Tim. 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 Who's Tim? Keep an eye out there. <coughs> Who's Tim? Tim, are you the man that was murdered? He's gone. He's gone? Where did Tim go? Who's Tim? Bloke. Bloke. You've probably not seen this stuff before, but you can try and talk through here. Oh, his lady. He said it? it says yes again on the yeah, flux. It says lady, I think. Oh, lady. What's it say now? Disrespectful. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> oh, we don't mean to be disrespectful in the slightest. We're not here. We're not going to um, do any damage to the building. We just want to talk if possible. Thanks, uh, watching. You're watching? Okay. Would you talk to me if I went and put myself somewhere else? Okay, I gather you don't want to talk. That's all right. Like female saying, oh, yeah. that's the first female voice we've heard. Who's the lady? Do you want to talk to us? <coughs> watching again. You don't want to talk, you're just going to watch. You're watching and listening. Did you work here? Are you 
are we disturbing you? It's interesting as the flux hasn't gone off for a while. No. And you'd think if any side would go off, it'd be the one that's slanting down. Yeah. Rather than the one that's up. Slanting up. Yeah. Night. Night. Disrespectful again. It's funny how it's a woman there. Mm. As before, it's that deep male voice. Okay, so there's a lady here. Do you want us to leave? If so, can you just tell us to get out or leave? What was that? Something out. How about I go in the doorway here? Yeah. Okay. okay. No. Okay, so Esther's experiment. Can you hear me, Alison? Okay, so if there's anybody here tonight, can you say one of our names, please? My name is Cag, or well, tonight I should say today. My name is Cag, and that lady with the funny things on her ears is Alison. Can you say one of our names, please? Oh, just come up, yes. Over there. Can you say one of our names, just so we know that you're here? I think it said, isn't it? It's got another yes on there, guys. Oh, get out. Okay, so you want us to leave? We're not being disrespectful. Just want to go um, just to talk to you, if possible. Took some lovely photos. This beautiful, beautiful area and this build, these buildings, absolutely stunning. Get out. That's a bit of a shame if you want us to leave. Not everybody wants to come and vandalise this place. Some of us just want to talk to you if possible. So can you tell me, are you a man or a lady? In. It was an inn. Did you own it or did you work here? Speak. Yeah, I'm speaking. Did you? Was it a busy place to work? Did you have lots of people coming by? Run. Oh, I don't particularly want to run, if it's all possible. Done. Oh, do you want us to finish? Okay, if you want us to finish, tell us you're finished. If you say those words, you're finished. Oh. Green light. So you're finished, and then we will... Boy. Okay, was the boy here then? Nicholas. Okay, so who was Nicholas? Can you tell me, please? Who was Nicholas? Here. Did he live here? Do we have to do some research as to? I have to admit, I haven't done any research on the building. Because we just thought we'd quickly stop Liz. on the way. And who's Liz? Can you tell me who Liz is? What's this one say? It's closed. None. Yeah, it is closed now. That's a shame. No. So you want us to leave? It's a green light again. It's confirming it wants Enough. Us to... All right. Okay, if you don't want us here, we'll leave you. We'll leave you in peace. All right. Yeah, and again, that's just beeped green again. No problem.
What? Right. Okay, so I said that if we if we um if we, if we had enough of us being here. Oh, okay. Tell us to leave. Yeah, we're saying enough. Yeah. So I because I said at one point shut or closed. Yes, closed. Go. Yeah, <laughs> that like was interesting. Getting, like we're getting kicked out. Yeah, it's like no, go <laughs> on. Off. I'll go off. off. It's time to go. I'll go off. Plus, as I said, women wouldn't have been in here. Mm. In in pubs. Not this sort of one. Australian was... pubs, you would not have had women in the bar. No. Well, it was just a quick stopover. It's great. Just have a look. I love it. Just the history alone. Mm. And the fireplaces. I just love them. Yeah. Chimneys. You can actually see up the chimney, cake. Well, I've been up the big one. I got in the big one. What did you? Well, thank you if you have told us to leave. <laughs> <laughs> We're used to it. It's all right. Isn't it? The message. That's okay. All right. Thank you. Thank you. So you I thought it was pretty cool. Um, it's it's cool because it's just cool coming into somewhere. Yeah. And just giving it a quick fish. Quick fish. Boop. Throw the line. We're on our way to Mount Gambia Jail. So we're not here for very long. Does that come out with another word? Um, didn't hear it. No, it's just listening. All right. So, so yeah. So with that, we're going to keep trekking on to Mount Gambia. Mm -hmm. Just for the history, just for the photography. The I know, photography it's is stunning. Awesome. Yeah, it's quite photog photogenic. So, um, I guess we didn't get any closer to finding out somebody got murdered or whether it's just mythology. Mm -hmm. So, don't know. Don't know. Okay. There you go. We've been here. Love it. Yeah. All right. We're going to keep going. Ooh, oh, yes. yes. Then the green light comes on. Then the green light comes on. That little bit you heard was the yes. Cool. All right. We're going to get off. Okay. Next stop, Mount Gambia Joe.